Hello everyone and welcome to 31 Days of Hell 2, episode 8. Today's episode is I'm going to be talking about dark childhood conspiracy theories of kids TV shows and movies. There's very interesting ones, I have a few of my own that I know um, by memory, by heart that I'll be reading to you as well. So, without further ado, let's get straight into them. Okay, so this is pulled from an article called um, Talk of the Toon, the Dark Conspiracy Theories about Kids TV Shows and Movies. And this is from The Sun, The Sun.co.uk. Okay, so the first one is about uh, Postman Pat, and the theory is basically that Postman Pat actually fathered all of the children in the village basically the theory is that he uh, fathered all of the kids at this uh, at the village school and the reason for this is that many of the kids have red hair many of the kids in the sit- in the t- in the village are redheads and in the uh, village school you can see this you can see this from the pictures that you'll be looking at on the screen right now and obviously we can see postman pat is a redhead what do you think of that theory guys so the next one I found particularly striking is that Winnie Pooh has a psychological disorder. That's uh, one of the very dark um, conspiracy theories. So if you do like Winnie the Pooh, I'm <laughs> deeply sorry for saying that. Um, I actually, this was actually brought up when I was in school in my English English uh, blah, 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 English literature class. And my teacher said that um, you could psychoanalyze pretty much every single character from the TV shows. Um, I just thought of another one from Phineas and Ferb. I'm going to mention that later on, but... You know that Winnie the Pooh obviously is not happy, or he's not, you know, he's not how he usually is with without honey. So there's one conspiracy theory that actually Winnie the Pooh has an eating disorder, and there's another conspiracy that basically all of Winnie the Pooh's friends and his entire world is imagined up, and that Winnie the Pooh is actually schizophrenic. And there's another conspiracy that Eeyore um, has depression, and yeah, so Winnie the Pooh has OCD and Piglet has an anxiety disorder. This is very, very interesting. And there's other ones that Owl um, is dyslexic and that Tigger has ADHD. Very, very interesting. Okay. No, it, oh, actually, no, it says here, human Christopher Robin is deemed as apparently being schizophrenic with the animals, just a figment is, of his imagination. Interesting. Okay, so Tom and Jerry... And Nazis. This is, I think this is fairly far-fetched, but okay. It seems that some fans think the cartoon serves as a a Nazi propaganda with Tom playing the part of British soldiers and Jerry, their German counterparts. This is because the name Tommies was given to Brits whilst Germans were known as Jerry's. Because Tom is the bad guy, some have reasoned that the cartoon which first aired in 1940, the same year as the Battle of Britain, is in favour of Nazis, especially as Jerry outwits Tom. Interesting theory there. So I have another theory about Family Guy. So basically, I watched a video about this, and it was it, it was real food for thought. So the theory is that basically, Peter, uh, Peter has learning difficulties and is not very smart. We see obviously in the show, you know, Peter is he's not very uh, PC. I mean, who cares about being PC these days? I don't. So that's why Chris has learning difficulties because he inherited that from his father, Peter. There is also a conspiracy that um, Lois tried to, in real life, the real life Lois that this, this the, the that Family Guy was based on, actually tried to abort um, Stewie, which is why Stewie's always trying to kill Lois in Family Guy. And there is another theory that, in fact, um, Megan in real life was actually very, very beautiful, but um, basically Megan drove Chris somewhere. This is another conspiracy. Megan drove Chris to, I think it was a party or something, or picked him up, and they basically got in a car crash. And um, that's what caused Chris to be kind of socially stunted or to kind of be like intellectually challenged, if you want to put it that way. And that's why Chris is the way that he is. And that's why the entire family and the entire cast seem to hate and avoid Megan at all costs. So it's just a very interesting theory. I'll tell you one about Phineas and Ferb. Okay, this is very, very interesting. So, I heard this conspiracy of many, many years ago also, um, the same as the Family Guy conspiracy that I just um, relayed to you, and that is that um, 
sorry, who is it? We've got Phineas, Ferb, Candice, that's it, Candice. So the theory is that Candice, and I think, actually, I'm not sure if this is 100% true, but what I heard from talking, um, from hearing people talk about Phineas and Ferb is that the show Phineas and Ferb was sold to, I think it's on Cartoon Network, sold to Cartoon Network from a family in which, um, so basically the characters of Phineas and Ferb are real, and that, uh, Candice actually had two brothers but basically she was schizophrenic so she imagined everything happening that Phineas and Ferb did like them you know building roller coasters in the back garden like them do, you know doing experiments in the back garden and this is why in every single episode apart from I think like one episode that I saw Phineas and Ferb but other than that in every single episode of Phineas and Ferb every time that Candice gets her mum when she comes back from work or comes back from the shop that's why Candace's mum and Phineas and Ferb's mum never actually catches Phineas and Ferb getting up to anything in the back garden because it's all a figment of Candace's imagination. So that's why when Candace and Phineas and Ferb's mum actually checks to see what's going on in the back garden, nothing is in fact actually happening. Don't take everything I say in this video um, for the truth. These are called conspiracy theories for a reason. Um, so yes okay guys i hope you enjoyed this video um this was just a very entertaining video to do very fun food for thought and um just gives you something to think about so this was 31 days of hell 2 episode 8 i hope you enjoyed episode 7 yesterday and episode 9 tomorrow will be just as interesting okay guys and at this point you know what i'm gonna say don't you if you don't you must not be watching all of my other videos happy spooky season